You can change the color of the folders in Finder now. They can all have multiple colors. So this one obviously is purple, but I can add an extra tag to it and you can see it at the bottom. I've just created another folder so you can see me creating a new one from scratch. And these colors are actually really nice. I've sized them up, I've sized them down just so that you can see. They're very vibrant, are they not? Cool, control center. We have a redesigned control center. It kind of looks like iOS and iPadOS now. Now, the glossy effect is good to me really really good to me and you can see all of the widgets that you can add blah 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 blah, blah. but look at this slider look at the slider it's transparent and as it moves from one color to the other do you know what i mean like the background color it's really good it's really good i love that they've done that and i also love that you can add whatever kind of widgets you want to the control center as well just quickly showing you what the new refreshed dock looks like very glossy very elegant very nice now iMessage iMessage has background so whatever you set your background on your iphone or your ipad you'll see it on the mac as you can see polls are finally on iMessage and anyone in the group chat can add an option plus a lovely animation occurs when you select it isn't that nice the phone app has been brought to the Mac it has a new layout you can see missed calls a new voicemail UI and even a new feature called screening it's where it will filter out spam calls answer on your behalf but I'll get into that some other time in my iOS 26 video automations are now on the Mac have fun yay next we have spotlights so Spotlight has been completely redesigned. There's now a clipboard feature where you can see everything you've copied. I'll just give you an example here of me copying something so you can see it and now it's there kind of thing. And there's something called actions and you can set your keyboard to be a shortcut to do that specific action. So I've just created I am, which will create a chat on iMessage, etc., etc. And I'm scrolling so you can see all of the actions available to you really really good and you can even search through your files in a more efficient way now finally cool widgets this is good to me as well so you have so many widgets available for you to add and you can put them anywhere on the screen before you were hindered to like specific places on the screen but now you can put them anywhere which is great let me be honest there's something that i would prefer i would prefer to have a set design for my widgets for each desktop screen that i have instead of being in the same position in all of the screens but you can't really do that it's the same no matter what screen you want hopefully it will come later down the line the widgets also push out the file icons that you have on your screen it's cute but annoying for me because it took me a long time to find a position where i actually liked it but it's fine anyway there's a new arcade app you can play games with your friends you can see the leaderboard you can compete with them maybe it will encourage people to use apple arcade games more i don't know but anyway next the journal app it was on your ipad it was on your iphone now it's on your mac next preview the preview app has also been redesigned your icons are more rounded you can add tags to them and there's something that you couldn't do before which is you can view documents in dark mode which is really nice so whereas the background of documents usually are white you can now change them to black really great and the toolbar has been redesigned apparently it's much easier to navigate in my opinion and it's the same but you know what i mean next the music app is redesigned the glassy look is so so good to me just look at the album art brilliantly faffing about in the background and you can kind of see the album art through the menu bar and the karaoke which is really really nice love that really really love that i had a great karaoke session with myself yesterday really good so i've given you my top 12 favorite new features from macOS Tahoe, macOS 26, whatever you want to call it. But there are some other things as well to note. Safari is revamped. You have rounded tabs, faster browsing and improved tracker protection. Your photos app is redesigned again. Loads of people hated the iOS 18 photos app. Nearly everybody complained about it. So that's been changed now. Hopefully people prefer it. I prefer it. I think it's much easier to navigate. You can have pin collections, customizable tiles, and of 
course your liquid glass filters your facetime app is redesigned as well you can see contact posters you have your transparent controls and you have your quick access and a more menu you have markdown support in notes and voice notes from calls finally woo of course with apple you have your accessibility improvements you have your continuity camera magnifier apparently that's 10 out of 10 probably gonna have to do a short or something on that your passwords app is redesigned your terminal now supports 24-bit color and power line fonts any of you developers if that means anything to you that's great <laughs> that for you that does not mean much to me but sure and of course your iphone mirroring via applications in spotlight is now a thing on the mac Yay! Cool! So that's my top picks. That's basically everything new in macOS Tahoe. But I want to hear from you. Let me know in the comments which update are you most excited about? Are you liking the liquid glass on the Mac? Apparently people just don't like the liquid glass at all, which is really weird to me. You've seen this kind of liquid glass thing in other companies. I think Windows had it first or something like that, but Apple have just done it and they've done it great as well. I love it here. Really, really love it here. But yeah. <laughs> let me know do you like it do you hate it i love it me personally are you already playing with the shortcuts the thing is with shortcuts and automations on mac now the shortcuts were always a thing on the mac but i never actually used it i don't maybe somebody needs to sit me down and tell me how to use it to the best of my ability and make it actually useful and impactful for my usage because um, it's just a bit uh, okay that's great but like maybe i just need to go a bit deeper and dive in a little bit more i don't know but you know what would you still love to see in mac os tahoe maybe a separate widget layout per screen like i want or something else you let me know but as per usual the very first beta is always quite buggy on the mac it's been fine on my iphone and my ipad though it's been very very hard and the battery life is draining but hopefully they fix that in the betas to come so this is the developer beta the public beta will be dropping at the start of july usually they do at the start of july but definitely next month and the full rollout lands this fall this autumn so this is the perfect time to explore and share feedback so let me know do you have it do you want it this is my quest at home i'm talking about by the way cool i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to like subscribe subscribe like bye Stay tuned for my iOS 26 video, by the way, and iPadOS 26 and watchOS 26. Okay, cool. Thank you. Bye.